So we know how you um, played the music for your fans and how you played it for Ryan, but what about your your circle of really good close girlfriends? Were you, did you have a slumber party? Did you get in a car and play it for them? How did you play uh, it for your I remember, really? I remember individual uh, circumstances where, you know, I'd write a song and then I'd be so excited about it, so I'd play it for Ed. Um, Ed's favorite song on the album is Bad Blood. Sheeran. Um, the, my friend Ella, Lord, I played her Lord. style when we were driving down the PCH um, and we were going to lunch in Malibu and I was like, hey, I just finished this thing. Can I play it for you? And I remember when that like when that beat drops in the, in the intro of the song, she was just like, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And that day she tweeted, um, she tweeted something about like that chorus that just uh, she tweeted something about the chorus that was very like she didn't say that she had heard my new music, but it was definitely about my song and I was so excited about it, but nobody else knew what she was talking about. Um, and then, um, Carly, we took a, a road trip to Big Sur Class. and I played her pretty much the entire album. Uh, Lena Dunham has heard it from beginning to end. Lena she heard Dunham. the stuff I was writing for two years. We're filling in the last name. Two years. I, I just <laughs> picked up on that, that that's what you guys were just, doing. We're, yes, we're just Carly Kloss, you just went to the game with her. Was that last night? Yeah, or, we went yeah. to the game last night, the Knicks game. Yeah. We were so excited. The whole time we're just like, oh, we're sitting courtside. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> so with, with these girlfriends, I hear you guys talking here about this, and you listen to your lyrics. I mean, you have an incredible way with words. You have an ability to explain things or not explain things or dress things or summarize things with the lyrics that you write. Do these girls, do they come to you and ask for you, like ask advice from you for them? My friends? Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, you know, uh, the thing about being a good friend is you have to you have to know right off the bat most of the time your friend, when they ask you for advice, they, um, they're going to do what they want to do, not what you tell them to do. Because mm -hmm. um, that's how human beings work. And I think being a good friend means that you, um, you don't really preach to them as much. The advice that I give is mostly on Instagram when people outwardly <laughs> ask for it. Because I'm not going <laughs> to give advice if it's not asked. Well, I've got I'm not going to be like, shoving advice into people's ears. Then to that point.